Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Together at 10. If you haven't already found a seat where you are suitably distanced from people, then do please do that. And you are very welcome. Adele, where uh, it's actually being called Back to School Sunday this Sunday. I know you're a teacher, um, although you're not actually in school at the moment, are you? No. Yeah. no. Come on, come no, stand over here. Over there. Uh, <laughs> what do you think teachers and students are thinking at this time as they go back to school? Well, I think they're, they're probably anxious about their, ch their class and their families, and their own families as well, but they're anxious about the, the children's well-being as well, mm. and concentrating on, focus on the well-being and the, maybe a catch-up process um, from the lost learning, or, well, not lost learning, but different learning that's been happening in lockdown. Yeah, yeah. So maybe making sure that everybody's progressing the way they should. Yeah. Do you think people will be fearful? Uh, I think I think everybody is. I think it's a different, a difficult situation, and nobody knows where it's going to go. So I think, I think the the adults and the children will be fearful, but trying to put a brave face on it for the children. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of the children won't, a lot of the little children won't really know what's going on. It'll be a bit different, but they'll they'll probably be more resilient and get on with it. But I think the older the person is, mm. the more worries there are. Mm. Mm. Okay. So. so this morning we're thinking about being bold and being strong and having courage, uh, which sounds a good message, doesn't it? For, it does. uh, yeah. for yeah. Uh, facing the unknown. Can you stay here for a bit? Because we're going to do birthdays in, in a second and you can uh, look after the, uh, okay. right, the, the, the birthday I things. Uh, is there anybody who's got a birthday? Or, yeah, I mean, had a, had a birthday in the last week or got one coming up? There's somebody being grassed up there. Yeah. Okay, have we got a name? Poppy! Poppy! Right, lovely. Well, we'll sing happy birthday to Poppy, and Poppy can come and choose something here. Uh, under the guidance of Adele. So can we hum happy birthday for Poppy? Poppy, do you want to come and choose, or is that just too shy making? There's all sorts of wonderful things here, some of which seem to be geared up to Christmas. There's a little fish book about Abraham, a little fish book about Jesus, and a little person. Oh, it's difficult to choose, isn't it? No, it's to choose. Oh, right, going for the little fellow. Right, thank you. <laughs> okay. Before we sing, let's pray. Lord God, our Father, we thank you that uh, we're able to come together and uh, worship you this morning in freedom. And uh, we have no fear of what people might do to us because we're here. But that doesn't mean that we haven't got any fears or anxieties. And we pray that as we think about these words uh, this morning and think about our own lives, that you'll help us to uh, hold on to your promises, uh, to discover new things about you and uh, be strengthened because we've been here together. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to just, well, we're not going to sing. We're going to uh, hum, we're going to stand and uh, hum a, a very suitable song this morning that we recorded earlier on, Be Bold, Be Strong. If you have um, got actions that you want to do when you're standing up, 
if you want to do sort of boldness and strong strength, strongness, um, and if you want to be walking in faith and victory, do feel free to, to do that. But not stamping. You don't want stamping. Okay, let's, let's stand and, and let's do... doesn't sound quite how we recorded it. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to play with the recording, so I haven't practiced, so I'm not sure what's going to happen, so uh, we'll, we'll see. We haven't got the words now. <laughs> and and I, I heard last week that there were several of us singing behind our masks. <laughs> Are we going to get the words again or not? Uh, oh, right. Here we go. Oh, okay. Please be seated. I hope we've planted an earworm that will carry you through the week, that you'll be singing that for the rest of the week. Adele, uh, can you come back where, from wherever you are hiding and uh, introduce the activities uh, for us? On the uh, tables uh, around the place, uh, there are various uh, things to do that Adele is going to explain to us. Um, Sadly, we don't have uh, Dr. Matt's uh, science kitchen today, but uh, doc <laughs> doc Dr. Matt has done a quiz for us, a Be Bold, Be Strong quiz. There are no prizes for this because the answer's uh, at the bottom of the page. But uh, you, I, I found that I couldn't do it and had to cheat. Uh, but <laughs> you're... <laughs> Do, do please have a go at that for uh, looking at people of courage who needed to be bold and be strong. So what else is there, Adele? Yeah. There is um, these are a little bit easier if you didn't want to tax your brain so much. There is a missing word exercise with the Bible verse. And there is a salto heart that you could write the Bible verse on with a sharpie. 
provided in a pack somewhere or on the table. Um, and you could probably give it to somebody that isn't in church today or you feel needs it at this time. There is also a jigsaw. If, you're, if you fancy doing jigsaws, there's a print stick if you want to stick it together as well on the piece of paper. Um, I won't tell you what it is. You can find out. Um, you might be a little thing on your little note as well. And, and there's a, uh, the memory verse with a missing word exercise. It might have several different meanings that you could put in as well, but they probably all mean the same. Okay, so I thought that was quite, quite easy and quite simple. And you can have some, have some, have some fun and tax your brain with, with Dr. Matt's qu quiz. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you don't find what you need on the table, uh, then there's a resources uh, table there at the back there, so uh, you can trot and pick up anything that, uh, that you need. Um, but uh, it, once you've taken it from the table, can you leave it on your table when you go? And uh, can you please take uh, any activity sheets that you've been working on uh, with you uh, when, when you go? Um, I, I think that, then that means that we, we haven't got sort of people are getting contaminated one way or another. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to um, do a thoughtful sing now, um, or a thoughtful hum. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to remain seated and uh, think uh, about these words. Um, sometimes the things that are right in front of us just sort of dominate our thoughts. Um, and we forget uh, the bigger picture. And this song, uh, I think, is for situations where you're feeling like that, where um, everything seems to be sort of piling in on you. And this is a reminder that there's more than what is just in front of you. There must be more than this.
Now Oscar's going to come and bring the reading for us. An extract from Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. After the death of Moses, servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the river Jordan into the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon, and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country, to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. Thank you, Oscar. That's brilliant. Before Andy comes and uh, talks to us about that uh, passage, for those of us who like pictures as well as words, um, we've got the familiar uh, Saddleback characters enacting the story. talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll be here, are you? When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Well, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourned. Uh -huh. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. Here he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded.
Follow that, as they say. Uh, it's great uh, to be with you this morning. Uh, great to see you. Um, and uh, very clicker. There it is. Um, here is our verse that we're focusing on this morning. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. If I say, on your marks, get set, what do you want to say? Let's try that again. On your marks, get set, go. It's a great word, isn't it? That word, go. It's so full of energy. It's so positive. It's the starter's gun. It's the red lights going out on the Grand Prix grid. It's the whistle at the start of 90 minutes of play. We've missed our sport over the last few months, haven't we? We've even had an Olympics uh, cancelled on us, but we're making up for it now. And there's something special about that first moment of a sporting bout, the uh, first delivery in a test match, the first exchange, the barrier going up, and they're off. It's such a positive word, isn't it? That word, go. It's a green traffic light, and we all love green traffic lights. But sometimes it can make us scared. Uh, Go back to school. Go back to work. Go back to church. Go to university for the first time. Uh, Go for an interview. Go into your community and serve. Go as my disciples into all the world. We always have mixed feelings when it's time to go because we are unsure about ourselves and we're not certain that it will go well. Three times in our reading from Joshua 1, God tells our man, be strong and courageous or be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. And once more, for, the, uh, for good measure, at the end of the chapter, The people of Joshua tell Joshua, yes, we will follow you, but you must make sure that you are strong and courageous. Why is this? Because it's always tough to go. No one ever feels ready for the challenge that we face in life ahead of us and for the challenges that God might give us. We're perfectly comfortable, thank you very much, to not go. What is Joshua being asked to do? God's people have been rescued from slavery in Egypt. God's leader has led them for 40 years to the edge of the promised land, but he's died. Joshua must now lead them. Joshua must get them ready to go into this new place of God's promise with its unknown challenges. He must lead them into battle and set them an example to follow. He must be strong and courageous, and he must go. Be bold and strong, for I am with you as you go. I wonder if you've ever experienced this, a, a prompt or a nudge, a thought that, uh, or a feeling that this might be from God, that God might be saying something to you, that he might be saying to you, get up and go. I know some people try to keep God at at arm's length. You know, I don't want you interfering too much, God. Well, good luck with that. Uh, Do you remember how it went for Jonah? If not, you can look him up. Well, this is more than a nudge. This is the next phase of God's plan to bless his people, to give them an inheritance, peace and security. God's people in God's place, under God's rule and blessing. They're right on the edge of it, and they can almost touch it. Their rescue in the past has been leading up to this. There's just one more thing. They must cross the Jordan. They must take their possession of God's blessing for them. It's their green light. They need to go, and Joshua needs to lead them. It's time to step up. How on earth will he get the courage that he needs and the strength that he needs for the task. Well, let's see. There's firstly God's promise. It's there in verse 3.
I will give you every place you set your foot, as I promised Moses. It's the promise of God. It was the same promise that he had given to Moses. He now promises to Joshua. The land will be yours. No one will be able to stand against you. What a promise from the living God. And it's as sure as a padlock, and it's made in love. The only reason God's people are standing there on the edge of the promised land is that they have trusted God in the past to rescue them. And they've trusted his provision for them through these 40 years. And if they trust him now, they'll get what they hope for. People often let us down with their promises, but God always keeps his word. As the New Testament says, he is ever true to his promises. He who called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The promises of God. But that's not all. There's God's presence. Verse 5. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you or forsake you. God will be with Joshua as he leads, and God will be with his people as they go. It's an ancient promise. Joshua was not the first to hear this, or would he be the last? And what better symbol of God's presence with us than a cross? Because in Jesus, God came to us in history, and he gave us his spirit So that Jesus could say to his disciples, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. When are you most scared? I think uh, we're most scared, aren't we, when we are on our own or when we feel like we're on our own. Well, God says, you're not on your own. I will never leave your side. God's presence. But that's not all. God's printed word. God says to Joshua, don't overlook this. This is the lamp to your feet and the light for your path. So verse 7, be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave to you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. And verse 8, keep it always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. Do everything written in it. Then you will find success. Well, it's not different uh, in Joshua's day from today, really. Our problems in life start when we don't read God's printed word, when we don't think about his commands and his ways. We want to find our own way through life when God has given us his word to obey. The Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. And God says to Joshua, this word of mine will give you courage and faith and the right path to walk on, and it will give you boldness to go. God's promise, God's presence, and God's word. Where do you turn to for courage and for boldness? Well, you won't be called to lead a nation into the promised land as Joshua and Jesus, who incidentally share the same name. It means saviour. They have done that for us. Jesus has paved the way for us. He's won the battles already for us but we still need to go. We need to live in his ways. We need to choose his ways, whatever challenges there are ahead of us. But if we read and obey God's word, we will be reassured every day by his promises in Jesus and of his presence with us by his spirit and we'll be led into the prosperity that he has for us 
Not a blessing of our own making, not trusting in our own resources, but resting on his strength and the victory that he has won for us. The victory of Jesus who has gone before us. So I wonder how you feel facing your challenges ahead, whatever they might be. Then listen again to our verse. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I wonder if you feel ready for the challenges that are ahead for you. Then, on your marks, get set. Go. Let me pray. Father, no matter how many promises you have made, they are all yes in Jesus, who is with us. So help us go in your courage and live for your glory in this, your world. And to this, all your people say, Amen. Thanks, Andy. One of the ways that uh, we can uh, think about uh, God's commands and the words of Scripture is by committing them to memory. And uh, Adele's going to uh, come and try and help us uh, to remember uh, this verse this morning. People like it. Oh, sorry. Right. Some people like it. So, um, if it helps you, that's great. And if it doesn't, then you can just remember it. Um, so we say, if you want to repeat it after me, that would be good. Joshua, Joshua, one, verse nine. Verse nine. Be strong. Be strong. And brave. And brave. I, I, will be with you. Be with you. Everywhere, where you go. You go. Should we say that all together? We'll see. It's quite easy. Right. We'll see. Joshua one, one verse, verse nine. nine. Be strong, strong and, and brave. brave. I, I will be, be with, with you. you. Everywhere, everywhere, you go. You go. Oh, we're quite good at this. Should we do it one more time? <laughs> Joshua one, 1, verse, verse nine. 9. Be strong, Be strong and brave. And brave. I, I will, will be, be with, with you, you everywhere, everywhere you go. go. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Adele. And uh, at the end, just before we go, we'll be trying to see if we can still remember it in uh, five minutes' time. <laughs> well, we, we, shall, we shall see. Right, now, um, uh, Steph's going to uh, come and lead us in our prayers for other people. Are you coming alone, or are you coming with the full force of the family? Alone, by the look of it. <laughs> right. Hi. Okay, we're going to be using our masks as visuals today during our prayer. Don't take them off, but that's why I'm going to hold mine. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us here today and for giving us the opportunity to gather together as your church, physically and virtually. As it is currently necessary to gather in masks, let us not see them as a hindrance, but as a visual aid as we pray. First, let us reflect on the elastic or ties around our ears. They hold our masks secure. May we feel your presence 
and security with us daily. May we feel your tight grip on our lives and futures. May we use our ears to listen carefully as we hear your word and absorb comfort from it. Let our ears also be flooded with the encouraging voices of our friends, family, and church leaders during these times of uncertainty. Let the worshipful music that fills this space bring us joy through our ears as well. May those we know who are suffering or recovering in our community hear and feel your love through our verbal offers of support and help. Next, as we feel the mask covering our noses and mouths, let us be thankful for the way you protect us as we are trying to protect others from the virus. Lord, we ask for confidence to not be terrified or fear current uncertainties. Let the words of our mouths be pleasing to you. Our masks are filters for what we are breathing. Let us also remember that as Christians, our mouths and words should be filtered so that everything we say brings glory to you. Let our masks be a reminder to pause and think about our words to one another. Give us courage to stand and speak up for you. Make our faith visible to all we come in contact with, even if we feel muted. And finally, sorry, can you take him? Even though our masks cannot protect us from everything, let them give us additional confidence that you are with us wherever we go. Help us walk by faith and rest in your promises. May we feel your constant presence as we feel this new mask on our face. You have a plan for each of us, one to prosper and not to harm us, giving us hope and a future. Let us leave here today renewed, personally feeling your strength and power as we face whatever this week has for us. Be with those making decisions in our community and country. Let us pray together now as our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those. from evil. The kingdom is the kingdom of power and the glory of yours. Amen. Thank you. Thanks, Steph. Uh, Steph will be uh, coming back uh, at the end of the service to uh, lead us as we uh, pray for one another as we leave. I came across um, a sort of, I don't know whether it's a poem or um, some sort of meditation um, on uh, Jesus as uh, being the good shepherd who is always with us, as uh, Andy was saying when he was speaking to us. Um, And I thought uh, I'd share it with you this morning. Good. Not the first adjective you'd use to describe right now, is it? A global pandemic with a world in quarantine. A heightened awareness of racial inequality. So many fighting for breath. So many lives laid to rest. It can be tough to find hope in the mess. Maybe there's been days your joys departed. Maybe there's been days you felt heavy hearted With so many days cooped up in your home Maybe you've had days you just felt so Alone 
Maybe there's been days lockdown spread to loneliness. Maybe there's been days you have felt hopeless. Maybe you've washed your hands from any kind of gladness. Are you masking up your weariness? Are you social distancing from happiness? Are you zoomed out? Do you have formal fear of missing out? And do you feel like you've missed out on PPE? Not for the out, but for the inside, for the heart, for the soul. When the green pastures seem to be off limits, when the still waters still on lockdown from social visits, is it hard to feel God close or near when you can't open up a two metre distance from fear? Do you feel lost? Like you've wandered off, off track and can't seem to make your way back to the flock? Have you felt trapped in the thicket from living life well? Do you feel like the wolf of anxiety is at the door and he's just holding down the doorbell? Good. Not the first adjective you'd use to describe right now, but it's the describing word for the word became flesh. It's the describing word for Jesus Christ, no less, for he says, I am the good shepherd. Hope in him. Because he doesn't lead me beside still waters. He is the still waters. He restores my soul. And so I lay down in pastures green. Because he lay himself down on a jagged cross for me. And you. Because the Lord is good. Even when hopelessness is all we see in view. And he sees you. He knows you. He cares for you. He deeply delights in you. He will not give up a fight for you. Though you sometimes stray, he'll stray after you. He says, you are with me and I am with you. He says, I am. Capital I. Capital I. The good shepherd. I am with you. We're going to sing our final song uh, now. I keep on saying sing. We're going to hum our final song <laughs> now. Uh, we are marching. Again, if you uh, want to uh, stand and uh, march while you sing, that will be great. If you wish to clap or do something else demonstrative of uh, of joy, happiness, and trust in God. This is another recorded one, so it's coming out any time soon. I'll try and play along with it again. Shall we stand?
please be seated. Um, just before Andy comes and uh, tells us about some uh, upcoming things, can I say that uh, if you would like somebody to uh, pray with you or for you at the close of the service, then uh, Mary will be uh, sitting down here somewhere, I think, um, and uh, she'll be only too happy uh, to speak with you and uh, to pray with or for you. Um, Andy, come and tell us about what's happening next. Uh, yes, just a, a couple of things to mention. We've got some slides. Uh, we have got our summer fate uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, one, ooh, the times have changed. <laughs> 11 till 1. 11 till 1 is what I said. Everyone, come up, do the talk. Okay, some of fate, um, we're just testing people. It's actually going to be 11 to 1. Um, we hope you can all come. It's going to be in the garden, social distancing and everything. Lots of fun and games to do. Um, if you've got some spare plants, we're going to have a plant store. If anyone wants to contribute, please see Jill, it says in the, in the notice board. And if you've got, we're looking probably for another gazebo if anyone's got it, but we're not expecting bad weather. We're just going to pray and go for it and have a great time. So please do come, preferably 11 to 1. The good news is if we get it wrong, I will still be here at 1 and we'll just keep going. But... <laughs> If you could aim for 11 to 1, that would be great. Uh, that's Saturday, 11 to 1, our summer fate. And uh, next month, uh, our harvest service is going to be our first uh, Sunday in the month. Um, so come for that. We're going to be uh, uh, raising produce for uh, the Salisbury Food Bank. Um, but uh, we'll give notice about that in our new sheet. Do take away our new sheet if you didn't get one by email. Um, uh, there are some copies at the back. I think Adele is going to take us on from here and close our service with Morris. Okay. Oh, and you. Right, we're going to uh, pray for each other as we leave, and Steph uh, is going to come with the family. And uh, Adele, you better come and help us as we uh, try and remember the, uh, the memory verse. Um, where is she? She's gone again. Oh, she's at the back there. All right. Well, I'm not sure that I got a grip on it. Right. Sorry, I'm making you run around, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So, let's see again. if you remember it. Try, I, I'm going to see if I can remember it as well. Joshua 1, one verse, verse nine. 9. Be strong, Be strong and brave. I, I will be with, with you, you everywhere, everywhere you, you go. go. Wonderful. Steph, pray for us as we go. Heavenly Father, please be with us all as we leave here today and head into our schools, workplaces, homes, and daily activities. Please arm us with your strength and your courage to face all that we have this week. Please keep us safe and healthy and give us opportunities to share with those around us of your love and grace. Amen. Amen. And if we could all turn and read the blessing on the back. The Lord bless, bless you, you and keep, keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.